chapter 3 and verse 4. What book we in? Tyler ain't paying attention. Trey, what book we in? Read it again. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. What about you, Tequila? What book we in? What book, what book of John? Chapter 3 and verse 4. Oh, I don't know. We got it all wrong. Say it again. The book of 1 John. 1 John. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. And verse 4. And verse 4. So what book we in? Chapter 1. 1 John. John. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Chapter three. Verse 4. Alright, let's do it again. <laughs> the book of 1 John. Chapter 3 and verse 4. What book we in again? 1 John. Chapter 3. Verse 4. There you go. So now, when you when somebody asks you all again, what is sin, you're going to go to what book? Chapter 1. 1 John. John. Chapter 3. Verse 4. There you go. So that's where sin is found in the Bible. Hmm. Whosoever committed sin. So now the Bible says, whosoever commits sin. Anybody on planet Earth that commits sin transgresses also the law. Transgresses also the law. For sin, for sin is, is the transgression of the law. So what is sin? The what? Transgression of the what? So when you trespass something, what are you doing? You're breaking what? A law. That's all sin is. So now what is sin? Breaking the what? Breaking the law. So now when somebody asks you now to hear, what is sin, what are you going to say? The breaking the law. Who law? The white man law or God's law? God's law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. So now we got to understand right. what sin is now. So now y'all should feel y'all should feel empowered. Like, yeah, I can go to church and tell my past. I know what sin is now. Sin is when you break or trespass God's law. That's so now right. I'm gonna give you a law that God gave to each and every last one of you all standing right here. All right, because we read the scripture before that says, "Cry aloud, spare not, and lift up thy voice like a what? Trumpet, and show God's people their transgression, meaning show them their sins. We have to show you their sins, your sins." All right, in order for you to understand what is sin. All right, so now sin is when you break or violate God's law. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a law that each and every last one of you all is violating because guess what? We was doing the same thing at one point in time until somebody taught us the same exact way. So don't get offended, all right? Y'all cool? You got tough skin? All right, we're gonna find out in a second now. We're gonna try to spit. You know I won't? You know what I mean? 22 and 5. All right, I don't want nobody getting up, going in the house and getting a dangle two piece. And trying to dang on spray on us now. I want y'all to listen up and listen good. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. All right, hold on. So now we're going to make sure Takiya come back and get this understanding. Uh, uh, Trey got the understanding. And Tyler got the understanding. And the new sister right here in the tank top. What's your name? Haley. Huh? Haley. CC. CC. All right, got you. I like that. CC. All right, so now CC, Tyler, Trey, and Takiya. I want y'all to listen to this law, all right? Now, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman. So now the first person God is dealing with is talking about who? The women. That's CC and Takiya. This is for y'all. Y'all step up here. Y'all step up here. The, the sisters. Y'all step up here and you brothers stay in the back. Y'all stay in the back. All right? So this is commandments for you two. All right? So it says the woman. All right? CC, CC and Takiya. All right? Come on. The woman shall not. So now the Bible says that the woman shall not. When, the, when you hear the word shall not, that means you shouldn't what? You shouldn't do this thing that he's about to say, right? All right, so I want to make sure y'all understand that this is a law that God has in the Bible for you sisters. You follow me? Y'all cool? All right. Mm. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, what did it say, Takiyah? The women shall not wear things that belong to what? Belongs to who? To men, right? So I want both of y'all to turn and look at them brothers right there. Turn and look at them. All right? What do those brothers have on that they wear all the time? <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. Yeah, ain't talking about that. What else? <laughs> they, they, what else? I mean, what, they, what article of clothing do they have on? They're pants. Pants, pants, pants. All right, so now, I'm going to prove that God is talking about women ain't supposed to wear pants. All right, so now, the first part was for the women, right? Now, I want y'all to take this, the roll of them. Y'all come to the front. All right? 
So now the first part of the scripture says, a woman is not supposed to wear things that belongs to men. Right? Read. Neither shall a man. Now we're talking about the men now. You with me, Trey? You with me, Tyler? Now neither the man put on a woman's garment. So now it says men are not supposed to wear things that belongs to women. All right? So now I want y'all to tell me what is he talking about? What are some things that women wear that men are not supposed to wear? Bra, what else? Panties, what else? Look at the sisters. Turn around, look at the sisters. What do, what do they have on that you're not supposed to be wearing? They got the same thing that y'all have on, right? Right? So who is out of order right now? Them or you? Them. Point at them. Say, y'all out of order. Y'all out of order. Because guess what? Y'all wearing pants. Sharp pants belongs to men. Pants belongs to men. Women are not supposed to wear these things. You understand me? We can prove what we say. All right, first Timothy 2 and 4. All right. I'm going to show you. All right. Sisters ain't supposed to wear that thing. All right. The book, the book of 1 Timothy. 2 and 9, I think. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 9. Now, we've proven that sisters ain't supposed to wear pants. All right. Watch. In like manner also. That woman adorned himself in martyr's apparel. So now I want one of you brothers to come in and get this sign right here. All right? So we can help this sister out. One of y'all come and get this sign. All right? That's why we got the illustrations out here. All right? You're not going to get this in church. They're not going to take the time out to actually show you all what the Bible is actually saying. So now read that verse again. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also. In like manner also. That woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. So now the Bible says women are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel, sister Cece? What is it? Uh, Do you know what the word modest means? Yeah. What is it? I know it? how to use it. Like, you being kind of like... Same faces? Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? You got a little bit of class about yourself? Yeah. All right. So now, according to that definition, right? Modesty. I want you to come out here and point to the pictures of the sisters. Which sister here, out of these pictures here, are the most modest sisters on the on the picture? I want you to come and point at them. Which one would you say is the most modest dressed sister? Out of this area right here. Yeah, out of all the sisters that you see, show me the, the sister that dressed the most modest. The bottom, the bottom picture down here, it could be two. Well, you, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna find out what is modest. Come on. But Who would you say, sis? The one with the skirt and jacket. Okay. All right. So she said, she said a sister in a workout outfit. All right? What, what, what about you, Takia? I definitely roll with the yellow. The yellow? Hey, guess what? Both of y'all are right. All right? So now, all these pictures here to the left. My left, your right. These are immodest. All right? This is what you call hoochie mama stuff. God says our sister's not supposed to dress like this. Y'all not supposed to dress like this, right. all right? All this right here is modest. Sister, this right here? Oh, no. Hey, you, you don't have to. Now, that don't mean that you have to wear dresses all the way down to your feet. It has to be where it's not tight, showing your curves, and things like that. That's not modest. You know why? Because guess what a brother going to do? A brother see you walking down the street. You put that down. A brother see you all walking down the street with what you have on right now. And we're not, we not making fun. We did out here edified, all right? If y'all didn't know those sisters, right? What's the first thing in your mind? Be real. Be real. Tell me, would you, if you see the sister right here, what, what do you want to do? You want to holler at her, right? How about you, right? You want to holler? Why? Be honest. Act like, act, act like she ain't there. Yeah, right. Because what, what, what you what? What you see, right? What you see? Yeah, see, yeah, he said, like, man, don't be on the spot, man. I see it, I see it, but I don't want to name it. But guess what? That's exactly how sin starts. Because now you cause your brother to stumble. Right. And the Bible calls it what? Lust. That's right. Now he began to lust. He may like you because you got a pretty face. You see what I'm saying? You got a nice body. You thick in all the right places. But now that's the only thing that he sees about you. Right. So now when y'all start to holler at each other, the only thing he really thinking in his mind is, I can't wait to see what I got to see. They're getting to the rolls. And once I get it, yes, it's good. And then after it's done, 
big sister. I know what it's all about. You see what I'm saying? Now you got a baby with the sister. Then when it's time for y'all to really get to know one another, you find out that I don't really like that sister. I really don't like that dude, man. He don't even got a job. He a bum. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? It's too late. Now you stuck with this dude for another 20 some years. You see what I'm saying? You stuck with the sister that maybe just a gold digger. You see what I'm saying? All because of how she carried herself. If you wait, if you dress like how the sisters here are dressed, you're gonna get a righteous brother. Alright? And you brothers gonna get a righteous sister. Because now you know that, hey, guess what? When she leave the house, she ain't gonna be picking up random niggas. Because why? She got class about herself. Real thug niggas in the street ain't trying to get with no church and type sister. They ain't trying to get with no sister like that. Because why? They won't spend their legs quick, fast, in a hurry, and I'm out. You see what I'm saying? They know that sister got some kind of reserve about herself. You understand? But, same thing with the brother. You know what I'm saying? You walk around here with your pants down. You know what I'm saying? You got all your bling bling going on. You driving your big, nat, your big fine 24 inch rim car. You know, down the street. Guess what she gonna think? What you thinking, sister? He got money, right? I wanna get with him because he a baller. He a shot caller. But now I realize this job over here making these. You see what I'm saying? And you can't keep down your job. You see what I'm saying? Right? Am I right? And he in debt? He don't know how to talk to a woman? He damn got uneducated? He, got, he on a first grade education in our level right now. He can't even read a book. All right, so now, read that again. The book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. So all these things that we're bringing out are laws according to God that you all are supposed to have been taught in the church, but the pastors don't teach this. All right, read. In like manner also, that woman adorn himself in modest and modest apparel. All right, y'all gotta dress in modest apparel. Read. With shamefacedness, you gotta be surprised. You gotta be shamefaced. The word shamefaced means that you gotta have to reserve about yourself. You can't be up in the man face all the time. So once you see a dude roll up in the neighborhood, a nice car, you out there, hey, how you doing? You're not gonna be like that. All right, who this nigga is? No, you ain't gonna be like that. Shamefaced means you gotta reserve about yourself. Read. Not with braided hair, Come on. or gold, uh -huh. or pearls, uh -huh. or costly array. Now, do that mean you can't wear gold? Do that mean that you can't wear pearls? Do that mean that you can't braid your hair? What does that say, Tyler? What do you think that's saying? It's how you do it. Right? Yeah, it's the way that you carry yourself. You're not supposed to let that be the main thing that people notice about you. You see what I'm saying? When people see you, they shouldn't see you just because you got a nice ice around your neck. You see what I'm saying? Or you got a fancy hairstyle. You see what I'm saying? You wear the latest Jordan and things like that. He said, listen, don't let that be the main thing that people see about you. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Verse 10. But which becometh woman professing godliness. So now he says, women professing godliness. What is godliness according to the Bible, Sister Cece? What is godliness? The word is in itself. What is godliness? God, what is godliness, Sister? The word is in itself. Godliness. God like. Godlike. There you go. We ain't ignorant people, man. I know we talking to smart, intelligent people. Y'all not dumb. Y'all just gotta think. That's it. He said, women professing godliness. What is godliness? The laws of God. You gotta be walking around so when brothers see you, they say, you know what? That's a god fearing sister right there. I know. That's who I want to be my baby mama. That's who I want to grow old with right there. You see what I'm saying? That's who I want to start a family with. Get us up out of this gang or get them. Get us away from all the dang old hell and the hot me, all this crap that we going through in the street. Why we gotta be down here hustling and hating on each other? You see what I'm saying? You want somebody like that that's gonna dang gonna take you for a wife in the long run. You understand me? So you sisters gotta carry yourself in this kind of life.